Then we're asked to find the area of this hexagon. And we learned to do this with a very specific formula called shoelace. Uh, there's a couple things you have to remember about shoelace. The first is we need to test to make sure that our points are going to be, oh, well, it tells us the points are in the right order, so we don't have to do that. As long as it tells us that the points are in the order A, B, C, D, E, F, we don't actually have to go through and list them out to make sure that they're in the same order. So then the second thing, we, once we've done that, which we verified because it told us hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F, then we start listing the points out. And we can start anywhere. We just need to keep them in order, either counterclockwise or clockwise. Be very careful. Check this twice that you're writing these down. One of the big mistakes is that you make a, you write one of these down wrong as you're making your chart. And then the thing that you always is often forgot is you need to list the first point again because essentially you can think about this as connecting up all the points. And so we're going to call that we're we need to make that final connection back to the start at six comma three. Then we create the shoelace by doing this. Six times negative two is negative twelve. Negative thirty five. 0 times negative 2 is 0, negative 4 times 6 is negative 24, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10, 3 times 3 is positive 9. Always checking back over those to make sure we didn't get calculation errors. Uh, this one's going to be 3 times 7 is 21, so we, here, let's complete these shoelaces. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 20, positive 4, 18, and then 30. So um, when you go through and take a look at this, you've got, um, uh, you add the two columns up. And so this left column, it's going to be 21 plus 20 is 41, 45, and then 48. So that gives you 93. And then the right column, you're going to have negative 47 um, plus negative 24 is negative 71. And then you're going to be just adding another negative um, one there. So you're going to get negative 72. And then the way we learned to use those two um, column sums to find the answer is you take one half times the absolute value of the difference. So we do 93 minus a negative 72. That gives us 165. And then we multiply that times one half. And um, one half times 165 is 82.5.